Hey guys, Phil at Woods Tree Farm here. Thanks for checking out the channel today. This is an exciting episode I am happy to share with you. We have a grapple on the farm again. If you've been following for a while, I had a grapple that I was able to use for a couple months last year, but now we have one of our own. Now, in full disclosure, this grapple was sent to us from the company called Artillion, who makes the grapple, and Artillion wanted us to showcase this product on the channel, show it in use in the real world, and and in exchange for that, they sent us this grapple for free. Some of my audio files got messed up, so I'm recording some of this voiceover and this intro here from the office. It's a little unusual for me, but I'm going to share with you what I could salvage from the footage that I recorded when I first set up the grapple and the first couple uses doing a few odd jobs around the farm. So follow along today. Let's have a little fun. Here is the main clamp of the grapple. I have just a single clamp. Then really the only issue that I had in setting this up is finding the right combination of couplings to work with my tractor. It was shipped with quarter inch couplings. I don't know if that's the right measurement, but I had to go to a couple different stores to get the right combination of bushings and couplings to work with my tractor. So I had to go from the quarter inch tubing up to a half inch coupling. So I have a bushing and a coupling that I had to add on to this hose assembly. All I gotta do now is hook up these hoses to the cylinder there and we should be on our way. So we've got that all hooked up. Now we can open up the rest of this. And hopefully hook it up on the tractor. Clean up the workspace here. Notice those gold keys dangling from this rake assembly I'm about to move. You'll want to make sure you fold those up over the rake when you get started. Right now they're pinched between the fork frame and the rake assembly itself, so I can't use them. So in a second here, I'll have to take it back off and flip them up and put them back on. Those keys are what ultimately hold the assembly in place on the fork frame. I'll give you a close up of that here in a second. Now I'll install the grapple assembly. Notice I flipped up the keys that time and I wasn't exactly sure where on the fork frame this should rest. So you'll see me adjust it a couple times. If I had read the manual that came with it, it's pretty explicitly clear exactly where it should go. But here I shuffle it around a couple times. When it's in the right spot, a hole on the grapple assembly will line up with a slot on the fork frame. You slide in your key and turn it, and that's it. Fingers crossed, let's fire it up and see how it works. Just quickly checking each connection here for leaks. Now that we've tested out the grapple, if everything looks good, we'll get to work. This was a log I took down back on video 221 just a couple weeks ago. It was a leaning elm out over the field. It's become somewhat of a plaything for my kids. Maybe you saw them at the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it downhill where they can continue to play on it and I'm not going to convert this in firewood.
The grapple makes pretty quick work of this. It took me almost 25 minutes to make that pile. Less than a minute to clean it up. Here you can see the size. This is uh, almost 20 feet across and as tall as the tractor. Simi glance over. I didn't know that branch was still attached at the end of the log and I was worried I was going to knock over the camera. Actually couldn't get through the opening in the tree line there. So I'm going to cut this down to eight foot sections and I'll be able to get it where I need it to go. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. I appreciate that. There's going to be a lot more videos of this Artillian grapple in action. I look forward to sharing my thoughts with you as I spend more time with it. Hit the subscribe button. Hope to see you on another video.